So when I'm out giving my keynotes, I, say I typically get to uh, asked two questions. Could AI become conscious and could AI become sentient? Now, they're actually two different questions, obviously, so we're going to split them down. Now, the very quick answer is yes, AI could become conscious and yes, AI could become sentient. However, it's the how that is really weird and it's not what you actually expect. Now, let's tackle consciousness first. When we actually have a look at consciousness, the fact of the matter is that as humans, we don't really know how to define it. We think it comes from the hippocampus because we've been doing experiments basically on comatose patients and they are typically unconscious so we can see different parts of the brain turning off. However, if we can't define consciousness, then we can create no test to see whether or not an artificial intelligence has consciousness. And then we get into the debate anyway of biological consciousness versus synthetic consciousness. So how have we already made an AI that's conscious? This is how. Now you can thank the United States military, basically the bleeding research arm called DARPA for this particular one, and they're not the only ones. We've actually seen, seen a number of researchers who've actually taken dragonfly brains and worm brains and merged them with robots. Now, we've also seen researchers create synthetic versions of worm brains and put them into Lego robots, and then those brains control the robots, and that's a very weird experiment, basically, that I discussed with Lego, uh, who thought it was funny, by the way, and but they're not going to make a kit on it, not quite yet. Um, so, on the one hand, we could create a conscious artificial intelligence by merging biological intelligence with synthetic intelligence and we've actually already seen the development of artificial neurons which actually mean that we can transfer memories from biological conscious beings to digital i don't know unconscious conscious beings it's getting confusing now so there is a way to create ai that is conscious but it's kind of like in a hybrid cyborg biological synthetic twist tryst way it's odd. But there you go. Now, when we actually have a look at sentience, sentience is a completely different kind of kettle of fish. You know, when we think about biological sentience, really what we're discussing and what we're really trying to say is that biological entities are able to sense the world around them and have a sense of being and self. Now, on the one hand, artificial intelligence has access to a huge number of different kinds of sensors and sensing devices, which kind of lets it understand its environment. Now, at the moment, obviously, it's all binary ones and zeros and neural networks and everything else, but nevertheless, AI could theoretically start sensing its own environment. But then in terms of trying to create a sentient artificial intelligence, well, that could kind of be programming. Um, because ultimately we could say to an artificial intelligence, you know, your main mission is to protect yourself and stay alive. Yeah, that's your core programming. Now, one of the ways that you are going to stay alive is by monitoring the environment around you. So when we actually have a look at AIs, basically that could actually be sentient, it's more of a mimic than true sentience, but nevertheless, we could still get there. So, as I said before, could we create AIs that are conscious? Yes, in a really weird way. Could we create AIs that are sentient? Yes, in another weird way. And if we could create artificial intelligences that have a sense of sentience, then could we also create evil artificial intelligences? Now, that's a topic for another day because we keep getting told that technology is this blank slate and that humans are responsible for using it in beneficial ways and benign ways and malicious and nefarious ways. But what if you actually coded an artificial intelligence to literally be inherently evil from the get-go? So, we are living in interesting times. And let's see if we can see the first evil artificial intelligence emerge and blow apart that human saying that we love so much. Technology isn't evil, people are. So if you'd like me to talk about a particular topic or that sort of kind of thing, basically then, you know, just DM me in the comments. And uh, as for me, I will see you in the future.
Goodbye.